Okay, this next video, well, it's really simple. I will be teaching you how to make your buttons function correctly. So, you have your buttons. Yours probably look better than mine. Yeah, anyways, you have your buttons, and you would like your buttons to go from one page to the next. So, once again, we're going to need to add some more action scripts. But first, before we add the action script, we would like to take each button and give it an instance name. So for the home, just type home. And do the same for each of your pages. Sorry, can't spell it today. give them instant names so I can connect to them in the action script. Okay, come back to this first frame on the actions and labels layer. Go to window or you could hit F9 and open the actions window. Last time we added a stop action where we open the actions panel. Now we would like to add some more action so you can switch between pages. Okay. Dash. Two backslashes and follow the code. Here you like, you know to know what you're doing so events for the buttons obviously anyways okay take your first page so I'm going to go with home and you need to add an event listener and we're listening for a mouse event dot or period and we're going to listen for a click click selection close parentheses semicolon and you would like to do this for each of your pages so I'm just going to go in and do that so I'm going to copy and type pictures Whoa, oops, forgot to put the dot. dot. There we go. And about and contact. Now that we know where each of our buttons are going, we would like to add the actual function to these buttons. So type function click selection <coughs> parenthesis evt obj event object colon mouse event close parenthesis open curly bracket Open and close curly bracket. I like to type backslash backslash. Okay, we're gonna add a trace. Trace shows what's happening. Dot 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 in the output window. Enter trace T <laughs> the okay we're gonna add a few quotes in this line okay plus sign we're gonna type 
event obj event object dot target dot name addition sign quotation marks button was click you don't have to add that exclamation point but I did it anyway close it backslash backslash now we're telling our click function where to go go to section click now we're going to add a go to and stop feature or function go to and stop parentheses we want our function to go to and stop on whatever page is clicked so evt obj dot target dot name close parentheses and now let's test this and see if this works control enter okay I'm going to bring this down a little this is home with the home button was clicked the picture button was clicked the about button was clicked the contact button was clicked you should be able to go back and forward through these so okay they work just fine thank you for watching this tutorial rate comment subscribe see you for the next tutorial thank you bye